Hello and welcome to today's video on the LM393 comparator tutorial for noobs. As a disclaimer, I am not an expert. I am a noob and this is why I am creating this tutorial for other noobs. Now, I'm using a LM393 comparator for a tachometer and I want to have clear detection of the revolutions. In order to do this, I had to follow a circuit, yada yada, and I was testing this sub-circuit and I ran into some issues. So I went to Reddit. I went to r slash ask electronics and shout out to these users over here. First, I want to touch on what is a comparator before going into the LM393 in particular. So this is the symbol of a comparator right here. It looks the exact same as an op amp. It has positive and negative inputs, two power terminals for positive and negative, and one output. If the positive is bigger than the negative input, the output is high and gives the positive power as the output. Otherwise, it gives a negative power. So you either have VCC or negative VCC or ground. So it has two output states. The LM393 in particular has two comparators in it. The difference between the positive and negative input on the LM393 can be from 2 volts to 36 volts. It has an open collector output and this makes it special. It can pull an output down to the negative input but it cannot pull anything up to the positive input so we need to add another pull up resistor to the pos or to the output so we can have both the positive and the negative. You can tell that it has this open collector output in this part of the circuit diagram in the data sheet. You can use a 1 mega ohm resistor to pull up for using Arduino projects. Um, in this one, I'm going to be using a 220 ohm resistor. Now here's the circuit diagram I am using. It is done so that the LED lights up when the input is higher than the voltage. This is the circuit I built in the end. Here's the potentiometer. So when I turn this potentiometer, when I turn this potentiometer, the LED lights up after it crosses the threshold voltage set by this voltage divider. You can turn it one way, it turns on. Turn the other way, it turns off. It's a little faulty because this potentiometer is not the best. But as you can see, this is how it works. Now, if I take out this pull-up resistor, you can see that no matter what I do, no matter what I do, I jiggle it around, no matter what I do, the LED is not turning on. Now, I can even take the input for this uh, op amp and plug it into the positive rail, and it's still nothing happens. We need to plug in the resistor to the positive to make it work because it's an open, it has an open collector, uh, an open collector output and then it works. Now some people also opt in opt to add a resistor between the positive rail or sorry the output and the positive input and what this does is it creates a Schnitt, Schmidt trigger so that it snaps to positive or negative and so what this does is it takes out noise or it is a deterrent against noise so instead of having everything being triggered by say 2 millivolts, it would need say 0.1 volt of change until it actually triggers. This is adjusted. I don't know very much about it, so if you do, please leave a comment down in the description. You might be asking, why do we use a comparator instead of an op amp? Op amps can do the same thing after all, and it can even be easier, they say. You don't need a resistor added on in order to make the circuit work. This is true, but there's a few reasons why you should opt for a comparator instead of an op amp. The first one being that it has a slower response. Op amps are fast, but comparators are faster. The other is that unless the op amp is a rail to rail op amp, it doesn't go to the highest voltage. It only likes to work in that linear range where it's not quite going to the maximum voltage or the minimum voltage. So that's another thing to take into account. If you're working on 5 volts, it'll only go to, say, 4.7. It also doesn't like to have a big input difference, and this is what, is what makes comparators better in certain situations than op amps. 
So you don't want to have, usually it's around two volts, I think, a two volt difference between the positive and the negative input. This is why there's always feedback with op amps and why they're good with making subtractors, adders, uh, multipliers, dividers, differentiators, all these other kind of mathematical circuits. And with that, I hope you liked the video. Please leave a like if this helped you and comment if you have any questions.